Hello. It is time to build an oscillator. Let me adjust the camera so that you can't see my face and you can see more of, you know, my Watchman t-shirt. Uh, but also, more importantly, the breadboard, which, hold on a minute to get down here to see if the camera angle is... Well, the problem with these laptop-mounted cameras is that it's really difficult for me to be able to tell what you can see and what you can't see. Um, I... I feel like this is going to be okay. Uh, if it's not, I'll try to make up for that by explaining what is happening in the video. Um, okay, so we're going to start by moving all of these other things that we'll be using later out of the way and hooking up the battery. The red is positive, the black is negative, and we're just going to put them plug them into opposite sides so these rows are positive and negative respectively. Um, okay, so what we have to do is uh, we need to make sure that all the different parts of the circuit, um, which are going to be relative to these little guys on the sides of the chip, uh, one, two, three, and four down the side here, and then five, six, seven, eight going up this side. Um, the first little bit um, is connected to, well, it's connected first to the battery, so why don't we do that? We'll connect it to the negative over here. Okay, then it is. Well, we'll do the capacitor next, shall we? The capacitor, which also connects to two. So we'll just, you know, make this little interval pretty small here and make that work that way. And that's nice and clean. Okay, and then we also need one to be connected to the out, and the out is going to be this large, rusty-looking speaker, you know, so we'll do that. Um, and we'll have that right here. Okay, so the second one we already have connected to the capacitor like it's supposed to be. Um, and that's really all that one is... oh no, actually, we need this guy to connect 2 to 6. So let's just take it from right here over the chip to 6. Just like that. That'll work just fine. Okay. Um, next, we have 3. And the only thing 3 is really doing is it's connected to the out. So plug that in right there, and that's all we're really going to be doing with the out. Uh, 4 doesn't really have anything going on, nor does 5. Uh, next we have 6, which is already connected to 2, and it also needs to be connected to the variable resistor, which is going to be this guy right here. Um, we're going to connect that to the middle one on here. Hopefully you can see that. I can't really tell. I apologize if you can't. And, yeah, so we'll get that going right here. Now we'll do it. That's better. Okay, and the variable resistor also needs to be connected to 7. So we'll take the other bit from that and connect it to 7 over here. That's fine. And Cameron Gerard is screwing with the door handle right now, trying to distract me, and it's working a little bit. Um, letting him in the room. 
Uh, next, we need this non-variable resistor uh, to be connected from 7 to 8, which is easy enough. Uh, we'll just, you know, do it like we did the other one. Um, right here is fine. We can get that. There we go. Okay, and lastly, we need eight to go back to battery. So we'll just do that here. And there we go. It is working. I'll show you how you can uh, actually change the pitch. Because that sound gets incredibly annoying, I'm going to unplug that. Um, okay, so that's the first half of this video. The second half is going to be making a little human theremin out of this. So the only thing we really need to do is unplug one end of the variable resistor. We'll just use this one. Okay. And what we do is we'll take this regular little wire and uh, plug it in to where the other one used to be plugged in. Um, now we have a broken circuit, and I'll plug the battery back in. We have a broken circuit, um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to connect it with our body. And the pitch is not great, it's not even really a pitch, hold on. It doesn't really get much better than that, but... Okay, uh, so that is really all that was uh, demanded of me in this video. Hopefully I explained it well enough. Um, and, yeah. Uh, I think you can see that. I'll check, but um, yeah, hopefully I don't have to film this again. Uh, thanks for watching.